wanna see you. I don't wanna hear you tonight. With the gaining popularity of Mushoku Tensei and ReZero sequel, 2021 left us on the edge of wanting more. With more sequels on the line and some exciting new releases, 2022 can be the stepping stone to our dream Esekai world. Note some releases might get delayed due to the current situation. To make the best out of it make sure you reach till the end. And let me know which one you are excited for. Hey, yo. Number 10 Skeleton Knight in Another World the gamers who keep getting teleported into another world theme need to stop. I can't live anymore with this false hope. Anyway while everyone is waiting for the Overlord 4th season, this particular entry caught my attention. RMC a full-time gamer played video games until he fell asleep and woke up into a new reality. By the time he woke up he found himself in the game world. With no flesh but pure bones, he was equipped with powerful weapons and armor. But his appearance as Skeleton King struck a frightening appearance not only to enemies but to himself as well. On his journey he saves a beautiful warrior and sets on a way of leading a peaceful life. Number 9 The Devil is a Part-Timer Season 2 The hard-working McDonald's employee is back after an 8 years of break. A classical reverse Esekai series revolves around a demon lord Satan, who got defeated in the last battle and escaped into the human world. In the world full of humans, he tries his best to hide his identity behind the mask of a regular fast food employee, stuck in modern-day Tokyo, eager to take his revenge. However in this world he is powerless and cannot use his magic. Later he comes across the beautiful hero Emi Yusa who dethroned him in the previous world. Now all of them will eventually get used to living the daily life of a normal human. After almost a decade later I am excited for the sequel to be released. And I am sure you all are too. Tonight. Number 8 The Greatest Demon Lord is Reborn as a Typical Nobody The concept of Demon Lord Reborn is getting quite popular, and here is another new edition of it. Our MC is a demon lord named Varvatos known as the most powerful person alive. Finds his life boring. For the role of a demon lord people feared to be around him. All his friends and family left him alone. So in order to get some company he decided to be reborn. But as a normal human being. However things got a little tricky, even though our MC was reborn into a normal village family. Both his parents have great magical abilities. This made MC magical abilities still much more powerful for an average person. If you love the shows like Misfit of the Demon King or Wise Man Grandchild, then this one will definitely fit your criteria. <laughs> Number 7 She professed herself pupil of the wise man. The proverb when you love yourself more than anything has an adaptation. Our MC Sakamori is a renowned player of VRMMO Arc Earth Online, known by the online avatar of Dunbalf. For the record he is quite popular in the online community. One day before going to sleep he creates a female character based on his avatar just for fun. And on the other day he wakes into the Arc Earth world. As a female avatar he created last night. He named his new character Mira and introduced her as a disciple of Dunbalf. It's a refreshing new take which I would like to see how people are gonna react to. Number 6 The Eminence in Shadow In my previous manga video, I already mentioned how much potential this series has. Siddhar Esekai protagonist loves to be in the shadows. He always admired those who hide their identity and controlled everything from the shadows. For that he trains himself every night secretly to prepare for his eventual rise to power. Sadly our MC's life ended after a traffic accident, making him fail to achieve his goal. However this marked the new journey into a new world. Our MC wakes up in another world and suddenly finds himself as the head of a secret organization called Shadow Garden that aims to take down evil cult in the shadows. Finally in this world he gets a chance to act out all like he wanted. I already read some of the source material. And by the time this had been on my radar. Number 5 The Rising of the Shield Hero Season 2 Our hero now Fumi is back. The otaku who is suddenly summoned to another world. When he finds a book in the library. In this new world, he gets betrayed, loses all money, dignity and respect. The only hope he had is Raftalia, the sword of his shield. Later our MC proves his worth and we all get to see a satisfying revenge story. In this season we continue to see the journey of our MC, 
From Zero to Hero this series has broken many waves on the internet and I don't think anyone has not heard of this before. However the series was set to slated for October 2021, but got delayed to April 2022. So if you still haven't caught up with the first one yet, then now you have plenty of time for it. <laughs> Number 4 Life with an Ordinary Guy Who Reincarnated Into a Total Fantasy Knockout When an hentai artist decided to write something on Gender Blender, the final result is something like this. A 32-year-old man is summoned into another world with his handsome friend. With a little twist that our MC turns into a teenage girl. Yes, an old man turns into a girl. And the love interest is none other than his best friend. When you leave your whole life alone with a best friend, then some forbidden things are doomed to happen. Now in order to avoid the upcoming calamity, our MC or female lead, whatever we call needs to defeat a demon lord, so he can turn himself into his original self. The story has many comedic sketches and the release date is not too far away as well. Number 3 My Esekai Life Don't worry about the title, let me make it easy for you. Based on another victim of an overworked Japanese employee culture, our MC Yuji Sano has a harsh working life. Coming from work suddenly finds himself in another world. As a monster tamer, in a fantasy-like game world including the status bars and skills, our MC is kind by nature, willing to help anyone in need. However due to his previous work life, he has no emotions left. In this new world he started taming slimes, became a sage and set on the adventure. With his new awakened magical powers, we don't have much info as of now. But judging by the theme it has slime. Many many slimes and we all know what slimes are capable of. Number 2 Arafuretta Season 2 Though we are not having a PlayStation 2 graphics this time, the sequel to Arafuretta or copy of the legendary entry The Rising of the Shield Hero. Story follows Hajime Nagumo who is suddenly summoned to another world as heroes along with his classmates. While his classmates are blessed with powerful stats and abilities, he is not. On an adventure our MC was betrayed by his clanmate and was doomed to die. However he did not lose hope and survived the bottom of an abyss. In a typical harem style. But the fight of survival has just begun. On his journey back home, there will be a lot of thrilling challenges coming towards our MC. In the second season Hajime and you will continue their journey back to home. Adding more player to the story. <laughs> Last on we have World of Leedale. Another video game Esekai we are going to witness. World of Leedale follows a female protagonist Kena Kagami who finds a new life. In a VR MMORPG game after a horrible incident, she is put on a life support system to survive. One day her life support shut down and she passed away. Kena wakes up in the body of the avatar she used to play in the game. Her avatar Kena is quite familiar with her surroundings, yet she senses that something isn't quite right, and this may not be the same Leedale that she knows. However this Leedale is 200 years in the future. As now a high elf she is starting a new adventure in the future world. The announcement was made at the Virtual Crunchyroll Expo 2021. By that time I have been waiting patiently for the actual release. <laughs> Looking from the list we will have a plethora of series to choose from. And by the time this video released many have already begun. It looks like there won't be any shortage of Esekai entries this year. But to find the time to watch it all is another problem. So make sure you are already prepared. If there is one thing that does not require any time is liking the video and subscribe for more. With that I take my leave for now and see you all in the next one. Peace.